Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, that's the perfect song to lead us into the entertainment news. As first up on the entertainment news, we're talking about Wizkid breaking another landmark feat. Ladies and gentlemen, Nigerian multi-platinum selling artist Wizkid sold out the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in a landmark show. The singer's concert in London is a historic one for African music as he became the first and only African artist to headline and perform at the venue. On Saturday, July 29, 2023, the Grammy winner treated over 60,000 people who reportedly turned out to watch him in his first stadium headline show in the United Kingdom to an electrifying musical experience. He performed songs from his last album, including several classic records from his other albums that soundtracked his rise to the top of the industry. The show is one of the stops for Whiskey's tour of his fifth album, More Love, Less Ego, which he dropped in November 2022. There were also musical performances from High Life Band, The Cavemen, King Promise, One Day Call, and others. Hmm. Big Wiz. Big, big Wiz team. is not much allowed for no reason. It's not mm. Big Wiz for no reason. And uh, Nigerian artists, I think this year stadiums mm. are waiting for them mm. because they've been selling out stadiums all over the world they've been achieving great fits and they're always the first african artist to do this and to do that mm -hmm. and yes we know that back in the day we used to look at it like oh these are big shoes to fill but now it's really easy for them because they're doing great music and they have fans all over the world mm -hmm. so i'm just uh, happy that nigeria to the world we've gone global yes yeah, so what this does for me is the fact that the big three are definitely... Wow, you're looking for trouble. No, no, no. Sorry, who, who are the big, no three? Are the big who are three? The big three. I mean, it's Whiskey, it's Bonner, and it's David O. Definitely. They are the big three. Oh. They are the big three. Oh, Bonner is not in According country. to you. They are the big three. Whether Who's number one? Not. Let's, <laughs> Let's continue this drama. <laughs> Wow. I mean, Afrobeats to the world, Afrobeats to the world, definitely. I mean, this, this is the time where anybody pushing the Afrobeats genre right yep. now, see, you will sell out. Rema is selling out regularly. Of course. Um, uh, what's our guy? Ruga, Ruga is selling out. So, you see, if you're doing Afrobeats now, you're going out there, you're going to sell out because everybody wants to be part of the African thing. Yeah. You know? People in the diaspora, even the, even the, into it, yeah. the white yeah. guys, even the Europeans, everybody wants African food, African anything, which I'm not thinking, man, to do restaurant now for Yankee go oh, sweet. Yeah, go sweet. <laughs> you go sweet today. Well, I mean, this is massive. Tottenham uh, Stadium. Are you taking Calabar Kitchen there? I, <laughs> he has to. No, he has to. He can't make this. <laughs> Lip sealed. Lip sealed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is just... It's just crazy. The same thing I said about when Bonner Boy did his own stadium concert in London. I was to say it again. I think this is just the perfect time to milk it. Mm -hmm. That synergy, that bond, that unity amongst all of these artists yep. is needed the most now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I was one of the guys, I was one of the people that was happy when Whiskey tweeted about the tour with, with, um, with Davido. Mm -hmm. So collaborations like that, yeah. it's, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, they, they enjoy us now. Who are the people they are enjoying? You can imagine if all of us just decide to go Do in. Yeah. Because I keep saying it. K-pop is locking somewhere. Mm. See, K -pop, you, and, is and, and, and you know how music is. Oh, they are feeling us now. All of a sudden, yeah. oh, what is popping again? They yeah. move over to it. The same way they did reggaeton, did Latino music. Yeah. Oh, so I, I, I don't know if people know, but one African music fest is yes, it's happening mm -hmm. next month. The UK. Yeah. It's happening in the UK. It's going to be big, yeah. Especially in the UK, it's not just one artist, so they are merging yeah. every yeah, truth. Mm -hmm. like that. So it's going to be major. Like anybody now, like I said, anybody doing frontlining the Afrobeat uh, movement yeah. is going to sell out yeah, big time course. because yeah. it's it's everywhere right yeah. now. Shout so out. congratulations to him. So we've given musicians tips on how to cash out.